So I've been getting, um, how are you guys doing? Um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about uh, VPN. People, people are uh, having problems with um, accessing a lot of these ICO websites when they, when they register and try to get the, the coin. And I have, I have been too. I have been too. Um, I'm very, I'm very, very familiar with VPNs. I've been using VPNs for the last five years because I've been living in China. Um, ever since I moved to Beijing, I've been um, I've needed a VPN because uh, China China blocks outside sites because they don't want Chinese people to retain to get the inf get information from outside. Irregardless of the fact that 99% of China don't speak English, <laughs> you know they still block the um, information from outside. They don't want that information coming in. So because of that, the foreigners that live in China, like myself, who lived here for five years, and the large community of, of um, foreigners who are living in China, doing business, going to school, working, so on and so forth, we need access to our social media sites like um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, you know, Snapchat. Those sites are unable to be uh, reached without a VPN. If we don't have a VPN in China, we can't reach face. And those sites are our lifeline because they are our connection to our families. So VPN, and I had no idea, I never used the VPN before I moved to China five years ago. And um, I've had to obviously get familiar with VPNs, virtual, private networks this is a this is a a, a um, definition of vpn uh, basically extends a private network across a public network and enables users to send and receive data across shared or public network as if their computing devices were directly connected to the private network so basically what that is saying is the VPN provides a mask. That's, that's all it does. It masks the current uh, IP address that you're broadcasting from. So what it does is it masks that address and it broadcasts out another address, right? So when I log into a server, uh, say I can log in and I have different places I have different most VPNs have different options So when I when I want to go to if I want to watch Netflix if I'm in China and I want to watch Netflix Right, I would turn my VPN on and I'd, I would direct it to an IP address uh, in the US I would direct it to a server in the US and Then I'd be able to watch that Netflix uh, Flawlessly well, of course, there's bandwidth issues and so on and so forth um, you know, and I could even, I could even direct to a, to a, a server in Japan or in Hong Kong or in, um, um, Australia. There's a, a list of them all around the world. Uh, let me see. I think I have a VPN. I don't have a very good one. I have a very, I keep a lot of the good ones on my phone. Um, I'm moving away from China now, so I don't really have uh, VPNs on my, um, my laptop. I think I have one here. Let me see. Uh, here it is, BetterNet. This is a free one. BetterNet is, is free. So when you pull it up, you know, little cutie, there's, boom, all these. These are all servers outside of China, right? So I can I can basically select, if I want to, if I was in China, I would select United States. And when I select United States, I turn it on. And then I could I could choose any one of these as well. It really don't matter. I'd normally choose a, um, a a port city like New York or LA, you know. And when it's on, then I'm able to then I'm able to access the uh, Netflix or YouTube or or Instagram or Facebook, right? And if the bandwidth is okay, bandwidth issues is okay then um, you know I have pretty good pretty good connections but a lot of these sites right now um, like yesterday I was trying to get a, one of these ICOs and I had the hardest time because because um, 
I mean, I'm in Russia currently, and Russia, like um, America, I think, is regulated for cryptocurrency. So a lot of the Russian citizens probably are, are not able to get, get on a lot of these ICO sites. So they would use a VPN. But because I'm not in China, I really didn't realize that I'm going to need a VPN from Russia as well because you know Russia is cryptocurrency is uh, restricted as well. There, there's uh, reg there's regulations here for the Russian Russian people. So I was trying to get the ICO and I couldn't get I wouldn't get a buy button. I couldn't get a buy button and I was I was mad because I missed the first round at fifty cents. And this was the Monix ICO. I missed the first round at fifty cents, and I'm pissed. I'm like, what the? F <laughs> so I'm going. I'm losing my mind. And something said, turn on the VPN. And I turned on the VPN, and lo and behold, I was able to get a buy button. I was able to get a buy button um, in the next round. And you know, I had a, I had, a, um, yeah, I was able to get the buy button, and I bought the, bought the VPN bought the um, ICO. So VPNs are the virtual and a lot of Americans need them as well because there's, you know, America has FACTA, that FACTA law in now where they they prohibit American citizens from investing in, in, in opportunities outside the U.S. It's like they're doing an offshore investment. The U.S. government needs to keep track of you. The Canadian government as well. They need to keep track of you because they got to tax the hell out of you, right? They need to tax you because they got to pay their debts down. Canadian government, Australian government, they all have these debts that they got to pay down and they got to, they depend on the taxes from the citizens. So if you're investing outside, especially with cryptocurrency, if you're investing outside and they can't keep track of that, they're losing, they're losing money. So they put these things in place like FACTA. Apparently you think FACTA is there to protect you, but not really. <laughs> FACTA is there to protect U.S. government, because or or you know whatever government, because they need to be able to track you and tax the hell out of you, right? So a lot of people now are using VPNs to get around that because a lot of these ICOs restrict Americans. Americans are heavily restricted because of regulations. Um, and I use American because I have a lot of family in America, and America is like home to me. I spend a lot of time in America and Canada, right? When I'm not in China, um, before I moved to China. So when I go back now, I'm looking at these issues and I'm like, I'm not even American, but because I'm in that territory, because I'm going to be in that territory, I will be under regulated, um, an, a regulated umbrella as well. So I'm going to need to use a VPN. I'm not American, so those laws don't apply to me, really. Uh, it applies to American citizens, so I'm not breaking any law. I'm just using this, um, this, these virtual uh, private networks so that myself as a, a for as a, 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 a visitor can have access to um, to these ICOs because I'm going to be buying my buying ICOs I'm not stopping it's not, it's not going to stop me from buying ICOs and if I need to fly out fly out to you know fly home to Jamaica or fly to Mexico somewhere or anywhere off offshore then so be it uh, but while I'm there I'm going to use VPNs but VPNs are virtual private networks they're used by people like myself who travel around the world and fall under these these um, uh, restricted umbrellas and need access outside so I use VPN you can download VPNs from uh, the App Store you can download VPNs online um, you know and get access to get access log in use the use there are a lot of free ones, but I'd suggest you pay. I would recommend you pay. Astral used to be a big one in China. Damn near, damn near ninety-five, damn near eighty percent of the foreigners who lived in China use Astral, but then the, the Chinese government really found a way to, to 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 stick it to Astral. So I don't think it's it's that popular. People are still using it, but um, you know it was heavily heavily targeted by um, the Chinese government at the time. Uh, but um, yeah, so VPNs are these virtual private networks that you, you know, Americans, Chinese, Russians, people who live in these restricted, uh, regulated um, countries need, you know, use it to get outside. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a little video on virtual and private networks, VPNs, because I've been getting questions about them. And I had to use one last night and I was, and I'm headed back. I'm headed back to China, so I'm headed back onto that.
on that massive wall. Oh man, it's so restricted. But uh, hey, it's not my country. I got to put up with the with the, the rules and regulations there. But as a foreigner, I'm not breaking them because I'm a foreigner. I'm not a local. Um, so, uh, but it really doesn't really matter. I don't care. Uh, I use it. But um, anyway, like, subscribe, share, comment as I go on my journey with my basketball and crypto journey. And hope y'all are doing fine and the holidays treating y'all well. And y'all ate good and drank good and you know had fun and no accidents and you know hope everything is all right uh but yeah i'm out here in the world this is what i do i travel like a mother yeah and uh it's winding down now it's winding down now i just gotta head back into china because i have to go into china and um and um, um catch a flight catch a flight back out uh, to North America from there. So, anyway, 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 anyway. Hope y'all doing fine, all right? Talk to y'all soon. Peace. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Like, subscribe, share, comment.